Hey there, guys. Frank Matic here with, uh... Sess. Yes, her. And we're going to play The Curious Expedition. This is a game on Steam. It's, again, early access, and I quite enjoy it. It is about being an archaeologist, kind of, in the 1800s, early days, when archaeology was a little, you know, basically robbery. Uh, you don't usually start with all these characters. You start with... I think these three are possibly four, and uh, Tesla unlocked. They all have their own little starting sets of stuff. It says, I'd like to pick who we play as. Here's what we got. I've not played as all of these characters yet, and as you can see, I have two that I still haven't unlocked. Ah, Burton, huh? I like him. Okay, here's our story. What? We're rich and bored. Basically. 1800s. We also check out where these guys are going. I like the sound of that place. And someone is sending me a bunch of messages. Probably Kaiser Anani or Randy. If you hover over a message, does anything happen? No. There's no reason not to take this first quest. It's very easy. And here's the main part of the game. We go to a randomly generated place and we need to explore and find the way out. Okay. While uh, getting stuff to become more famous. And this is where that letter needs to go. Okay. Alright, our party. We've got ourselves. Mm-hmm. We've got a native scout. Mm-hmm. And he increases our viewing distance, and if we level him up, he will increase it even more. You can't level your character up. Weird. And we've got a soldier whose main thing is uh, beating the crap out of stuff. Okay. Most characters start with a pack mule. This is one of the few who doesn't, so he can't carry as much to start with. And to go over from mechanics a little more, this... Well, right there. Shows you where the exit is. There are things that will mess with this, but there aren't any of those existent in the first map, usually. We also have standing, which is how much the, uh, what the natives think of us. This will tend to plummet like a rock very quickly. This is your main one. Sanity. If you run out of this, bad things happen. And doing anything at all <laughs> makes it go down, for the most part. Ways to bring it back up are stuff like booze, chocolate, resting in areas where you're allowed to rest. You can't rest just anywhere unless you have a camp item. Which we don't. If you can communicate with the natives, you can rest in native villages. They don't usually like that very much, though. And our character that Cess picked has the ability to talk to these people all the time, from the start. Most characters need an interpreter. Well, let's deliver this letter. Doing this first quest always reveals a shrine to you. Ooh, and these items like this, with a red thing on it, mean you when you, if you bring them back with you, you can trade them either to a museum for fame, or sell them for money. Most of them also have an item, like this increases your viewing distance if you eat it. What else I got? Spears for combat. Oh, I never noticed that this actually didn't mention, but these things will give you a little bit of sanity, but they also tend to make your guys get bad traits. Don't want any of that stuff, let's just get out of here. Wow, the shrine is way over there. <laughs> okay. Time to do some trekking. 
Well, we're still missing two things here that we haven't seen. Let's we'll see if we can find them. Stop. One of them's over here. Where is the other one? Oh, yeah, an elephant. There are wild creatures about. Now we've actually seen all the sites, we've analyzed the region, and we can level up one of our dudes. Let's level up that guy. No, 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 no. Don't want to walk back and forth pointlessly? No, I don't. Have a little drink and then come over here by the uh, waterfall. Richard's glorious moth. Walking through the jungle will randomly find you uh, butterflies. They are worth a little bit of fame. Resting gets you sanity. Resting by the waterfall, I think, gets you a little bit of extra sanity. Shut up. The game tracks how long your expedition is taking. You lose fame for time. So you generally want to try and get out fast. taking way longer on this first expedition than I probably should, but honestly, the first one's the only, like, semi-safe one. <laughs> that tiger that we're wandering stupidly close to is going to... yep. Combat! Combat in this game is incredibly deadly. <laughs> Here's how it works. You roll the dice, vibrating dead. well, it says right there. Okay. Depending on the combination of dice you have, you, uh... get different attacks that do different damage. Each heart is two hit points. And now this tiger is going to maul us to death, probably. Yep! We might die immediately. In fact, you know what? Fuck it. We need to get out of here. <laughs> this has gone incredibly poorly. I like that this happened right after you said that the first one is relatively safe. Just let I throw that out there. Yeah. This is what you get for taking me on a grob, uh, grave robbing expedition. Yoink! Oh good. Oh good, a panther. Excellent. Okay, the temple is somewhere off this way, which means it's probably up here. We are out of sanity. There it is. Ah, I thought we could make it. Well, we lost our scout. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's pretend this never happened. 
So you're traveling with a cannibal and you're just gonna ignore it. I can't do anything about it right now. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. But look, we triumphed, kind of. Uh, I gotta talk where I need this. <laughs> so, as an archaeologist, this is all completely accurate, right? Yeah, 100%. So where should we go? The cursed grasslands? Or the sorrowful drylands? The sorrowful drylands. Let's go die. We're gonna die. Okay. Yes, come with us. Alright, what can I buy? Yeah, that's what we're buying. <laughs> the pistol could have been useful, probably, but I don't have anybody that has the right kind of dice to make it super useful. Ooh, a cave. Now these are inactive volcanoes. That's a little worrying. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, a stone sculpture. We can take stuff from here, but it makes the natives a little mad. I want this, though. If you lose all respect with the natives, they uh, send out a war party. Which, uh, as you might guess from how poorly that uh, last bit of combat went, is not great. Can bring anybody with us? Nope. And they are now mad at us. Good job. So let's, uh, let's, let's just go. Nope, and they're following us, so if we do anything, uh... Sketchy. They will more than likely be right there to, uh, call us out on it. Oh, I can level somebody up. Oh, I didn't realize that was actually a thing. <laughs> what do you do? Well, we don't have any flares, so, uh... Let's start promoting that guy so we can fight a little better. So we're cool with him being a cannibal? Yes. Why? Uh, we need more people to pocket all of our ill-gained loot. Hmm. Oh dear! This is why I wasn't too pleased about the uh, inactive volcanoes. They have a nasty habit of becoming active volcanoes when you do things like this. Yes, what? Let's, uh, let's go this way. Let's get away from the volcanoes, shall we? Okay, what's up in the hills? Ah, somewhere to rest. Perfect. I've never beaten this game. 
I'm not very good at it, as you might have noticed. Oh, good. We set the place on fire. <laughs> you suck. You can use these things. Most of the time, you don't really want to. Let's go see what's up this way. A stone overhang. Our compass is flipping out, so I'm guessing that there is a magnetic mountain around somewhere. Now we're not going to finish this in 80 days, so that we're going to fail that quest pretty much inevitably at this point. That we got at the start. We lost something. Oh. That's a little annoying. Screw it, we're not gonna make it in 80 days anyway, might as well. Stop dropping stuff, you jerks! <laughs> we didn't even go anywhere! <laughs> <laughs> I just threw it into the fire. Okay, it's claiming to be over there. As far as I can tell, looks like it couldn't possibly be over there. Yeah, cause that's all frickin' mountains, so that must be wrong. Okay, it's one of these two. Was it this one? No. <clears throat> we'll ever take some more stuff. <laughs> That's a fun one. Oh dear. I didn't read what it said. What just happened? I don't know. A lot of mountains appeared. Oh yeah, that is one of the things I can't have. No, my soldier. I oh, know it's not the soldier; it was the sailor. He was now afraid we've got of the soldier. Too much stuff. Which is lies. We did it. We. Survived, kinda. And the native didn't come with us. They usually don't. Well, that was awful again. I'm doing extra bad. Probably because I'm, re I'm recording this. Game Sanity, each time butterflies collected. Well, we are in dead last. Good job. But no longer. Okay, we've got forgotten dry lands, dead in the dry lands. Oh, the Bad, let's go there. The, the Tikitaka. This is a lot for it. That's probably not worthwhile. Sure. Okay, we got no booze, but chocolate's pretty good too. Let's just buy all the chocolate. That we can afford. Healing Springs right there. We've got 
Ooh, an old camp. Let's go check that out. I usually have some good stuff. Mmm, both of these would be useful, but I'm gonna take the climbing kids. There's a panther. And there's a giant dodo. Those are those things are pretty nasty. I would paint the landscape if we had more stuff. more ability to carry stuff more accurately. Probably better not to until the artist levels up a bit anyway. Hmm? Oh. Yep, that's what those do. You look into them at night, it makes the natives angry for some reason. Taking this route. Wait. What? You accidentally clicked in the water. Why am I going this way? I have no idea. This is a terrible plan. I got there's a tiger over there too. No guts, no glory. Oh god. <laughs> 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 Welp! Good job. If I can make it back to the healing springs, we might survive this. What's up with the sparkling mountain? That is a magnetic mountain and it fucks with your compass. Our compass is actually pointing right at it right now. The real secret to the healing springs is that they will heal your wounded party members. <laughs> Who will... eventually... like... get infected and die. <laughs> awesome. Have you ever succeeded at a combat? Yes. Sure. Yes, this is not a good party for it. <laughs> is the main issue. Now you know what? Don't go that way. Let's uh <laughs> let's do this instead. <laughs> Those hyenas, we could probably take them out without too much difficulty. And they are after us, so let's see if we can do it. Crap, there's three of them.
We're also having the terrible luck that nothing is missing. <laughs> It's over. <laughs> this is going smashingly. If I'm right, this is the first instance where we can't just come over here and leave to... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, we need to come in here. Because... Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not till the next one. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Quickly, get rid of the easel. Run. <laughs> Well, if we can't just leave, we are boned. Okay, we can. <laughs> it's the next one where the extra comes into play. This soldier cannibal man, he is the loyalist man. Yeah, we need this. That's what lowers base sanity for, uh... Moving. Here, dry lands, dry lands, or the horrible grasslands. Let's go to Florida. Okay. Can't afford the campsite, so I guess we're just gonna buy two chocolate and lose this uh, this go around, probably. Right. Alright, we know where nothing is. Yeah, this isn't a great start. Well, there's something. Ah, it's a village. Let's see if we can get this guy. Animals are amazingly deadly. Humans, uh... Not as much. Not so much. Oh no, he's gonna hit us for two. There. We won the fight. Are you happy now? Yes. I'm happy that you killed a man. Uh, I can't afford a cleansing. I would love to get a cleansing to get rid of some of the uh, terrible traits my people have picked up, but... So there's a character you unlock for finishing the expedition with standing at 15 or higher, but I have never, ever managed to even get close to that. Mm. 
chef can cook meat, which you can eat to get more sanity. If you can kill an animal. If I can kill an animal. Alright, starting with this expedition, you need at least one moonstone to be able to leave. Kill creation. Yeah, let's take them. They're already gonna get mad at us for taking stuff anyway. Again, I probably should have read that. Hopefully that wasn't the awful void creation. Hey, geyser. It was the void creation. That is not good. Oh, hey, four hyenas. Hooray. Just to hold on to that. Finally! <laughs> Help if I could actually roll an attack. That might not be <laughs> useful. Village is not gonna be okay with us. The real problem is that <laughs> if that gets to the uh exit area before we do, we are, uh, basically screwed. Wait a minute. Oh, now it's not a, uh... Complete blocked off way this way. Okay. Uh oh. So the real problem is that uh, poor Charl poor uh, Richard here is gonna die right now. Oh no. Oh dear. Again, our uh, 
soldier is just a rampant murderer. On your own, buddy. You still got your terrible friend. That's oh God! Well, that's it. Um. What this happened? is a little bit of a bug, I think. The panther attacked at the same time Richard died. Hmm. I don't think this should have won out. I think I should have gotten a game over. I'll play through and find out. Let's, let's run away and see what happens. There you go. Yeah, that was a little odd. Well, you could have gotten your cannibal killed. Let's just assume the panther ate him. Okay. Or maybe at the slaver camp uh, picked him up as a slave. Okay. Anyways, this is how most of my rounds end. Yeah, I don't usually get mauled quite that terribly in combat, but, you know, as it is. Do you normally end up with a cannibal soldier? No, that was, that was a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Anyways, might record some more of this at some point. It's a fun little game. The first I've gotten is to the sixth expedition out of six, and then I lost from basically something like this happening. But, for now, later guys. <laughs>